When we need energy, we turn to food, like Twizzlers. But when plants need energy, they turn to the sun. Plants have the unique ability to turn light energy into chemical energy. This process is known as photosynthesis. So how does it begin? Well, let's take a look at the cell. Here we're going to study the light-dependent reaction. Let's zoom in on where the action starts. First, a photon of light of the appropriate wavelength hits the chloroplast. This action causes the chloroplast to become oxidized. To help restore the chloroplast, an H2O molecule in the aqueous thylakoid space donates an electron, which is grabbed by an accessory protein. This process is known as photolysis, and it breaks down the water molecules, giving off oxygen. The proton travels from the accessory protein to the rhesus, I mean cytochrome. This excites the cytochrome. And because of this excitement, it pumps more protons into the thylakoid space. Because of photolysis, breaking down H2O and the excited chromosome pumping protons, the thylakoid space begins to fill with protons. And as these protons fill the thylakoid space, it becomes more acidic. Finally, it reaches a pH of 5, while the stroma remains neutral at a pH of 7. This forms a chemiosmotic gradient. ATP synthase then opens up a tube to allow the passive transport of protons from the thylakoid space to the stroma. With great force, the protons rush up the tube and meet with ADP molecules. Together, they form ATP. How sweet!